afternoon guys, hope you're well, same process as everyone, Max on either side, we'll take a show of hands, we'll set an embargo part way through for 10.30 this evening. Start with Simon please. Hi Pat, okay, okay. Um, so I'm going to start off with the issues that the club are facing to be dealt with as quickly as possible. It looks as though we believe that the case starts on Monday. Have you got a view? And will you be glad when it's all over? Yeah. Start. I start soon and hopefully finish soon. Independent panel will decide and looking forward for the decision. Can I just ask you another kind of technical question. During the international break, you were told that you would have to play your League Cup game against Watford on a Tuesday night, two days after you play Arsenal. You've always been a manager to take the League Cup very seriously. What implications does that fixture schedule have on you and how you will approach the competition? It's going, it's going to happen in many cases. It's going to happen many, many times, this kind of situations for the teams to play in all competitions. So they give an alternative to play on Thursday or away in London to have more days, but that you have sat to the game in Newcastle and we prioritize, uh, of course, to have more rest for Newcastle. And we're going to play on Tuesday because we cannot play on Wednesday, then apparently it should be because on Thursday play uh, United uh, Europa League and for the police is not accepted so but it's going to happen many times so and when someone's going to create a new competition will be even worse injure I think will be until next international break we are unlucky with Nathan with the national team every time goes there he's come back injured can I ask you about Brentford, please, as well, because they are the last team to win at the Etihad Stadium nearly two years ago. How have you been able to do that as a club? What I don't remember been? against uh, Thomas Frank team, a person who I admire unbelievably. So I don't remember easy game against Brentford. Never, ever. Since we promoted in a Premier League, and I don't remember. Always have been tough here and there, so I will be an exception. They changed a bit the shape. Uh, I had the feeling that play a little more the player style when was in the championship. You want to move the process before we know Ivan Tony was maybe more direct. They can do it because they have a fast player, strong players up front, but they have uh, a really, really good process in the build up. And the high pressing is, is unbelievable, it's man to man, so aggressive. And after we defend, defend so tight. So compact, really well organized in the transition set pieces. It's a complete, complete team. I don't remember. So the, I, we have played already many, many years and many times, and always have been so difficult. I had the feeling tomorrow will not be an exception. And like I say, the, the unbeaten run as well, nearly two years now, Brentford the last time to have won. What do you think has been the most important aspect of that run for you? How have you been able to do it as a team? So the last time we lost here was against Renfrew? Two years ago. Oh God! Sorry. Yeah, you should avoid it. Huh? Uh, that means how good we have done it. That means how good we have done it. It's more than two years. We didn't lose a game here. That's good. Okay. Uh, good afternoon. Just to go back to the commission that starts its debating and, and everything next week. Can I just ask you? Everybody in football seems to be keen to find out what's, what's going to be the eventual outcome. What about yourselves and the players? I mean, it's, it's their work that ultimately would be in danger. Is there, is there a feeling amongst the players? Can you give us an inkling about whether you and the players have talked about it? No. Voice concern about it? I'm not a lawyer. There are many lawyers in this country, in Spain. There are many lawyers, uh, but I, I wait. We're going to wait and we're going to, to see. Is it talked about in the dressing room? No. I'm sad that we are not lawyers. Erling is not a lawyer, no. So we didn't talk about that. It's going to happen independent panel and we're going to accept the sentence. But what about everybody around the club, not just the players? Do you, I don't do you talk about that? them. I don't talk about them about that. 
we see. So I'm happy that the start of Monday and and I know you will be uh, more rumors and new specialists about the sentences that come up. Uh, we're going to see. So I know what the people are looking for. It. I know. I know what they're expecting. I know it. What I read for many, many years. But I'm sad. So everybody's innocent, and uh, you know, guilt is proven. So we we'll see. You mentioned early. Can I just ask you about whether he's liked some fixture this weekend? There's been a lot of talk about him being offered the chance of compaction of league. Can you can you give us any information about whether he might feature this weekend? Uh, it was a tough moment for him and his family. It was a sad, sad news. He's a close person of his, him and his family, 59 years old. Our thoughts is, of course, with him and all his family. And uh, yeah, it's sad. And we'll see tomorrow if he's able mentally, physically to play. Just a threat, please, though. Don't ask me that question. It's going to happen more and more, so it's impossible to fix all the schedules and calendars and the teams I'm home and away and everything. So it's it's no, it's, it's it's normal. It's normal to happen. So people say, yeah, with the players and managers, we in the morning they have to complain. It's not. It's about the healthy. So. The doctors especially say the body has to recover at least at least four or five days. So we did a three and out two. But yeah, and the people say, yeah, but uh, what? no, we will, we will do our job anyway. We will do our job anyway. With the salaries or less salaries, we will do our job because we love to do it. It doesn't matter. So, but yeah, we play night in Champions League or no, against Arsenal on Sunday. And, uh, you know, it's not easy game, I would say. And after two days later, so we have to do it. And I prefer to pay at home because the draw was like this. I'm going Thursday to London. I prefer my fans, our people, to watch his team, lovely team, adorable team at home. So that's why I decide to play on Tuesday. Because on Thursday after that, you have recovered, but that's why you don't have recovered for to go to, to Newcastle. First, because I'm not a specialist about the calendars or the fixtures or the competitions. I'm not here to create the competitions or get rid of competitions in the, the schedules. It depends on them. We followed. You asked me, I answer. So I said many times, we're going to change. The meetings is useless. So they decide to do it, we're going to do it. And Tuesday will be there. Hopefully, we can be select two teams and, and be fit and no injuries and don't make energy. But everybody knows the schedule will be tight this season, accept it and go on. So. Is not uh, at the end will not be a problem. So it's where it is. Just to check on a couple of other players, uh, Rodri and Cody. Yeah, they're good. They train, really good. Well, it's a question for him, and wish him. Him and of course USA, USA, like I have friends there. The best of luck. I know is a, a top-class manager, experienced manager, and and you know he decided to go. You know, USA is fascinating for the you know to try to build a project for many years and uh, able to get national team next step. And you know, because the potential in USA is there for the amount of people and sports and so on. So, yeah. Uh, he decided because it's the best for him. And just a quick one on Fred's question. Those two games you've got against Arsenal and Watford. Will it be possible for a player to play in that game against Arsenal and play against Watford, or will it have to be two separate teams? Hopefully not. But I don't know. You have 20 players available and and can do it. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I don't want to make on Tuesday try to play. You know, play the play against Arsenal. Play there. I would try to avoid it, but hopefully we can be fit and no injuries. And the guys who didn't play in Arsenal is going to play against Watford. That's for sure.
That's one for the embargo guys, Mickey. Yeah, the, the, the players who play regular every single week and who work throughout the internationals as well, uh, do you see the benefit of the players that have had that rest? Uh, Erling Haaland, for instance, he looks a lot sharper this season as well. Is the schedule getting too much now? Yeah, the people who have rest, because you know the rest for physically, they mentally. So when you have a game, you have so much stress in here, in the adrenaline and everything. You're playing against 65, 70,000 people, you want to perform well. You don't make a ridiculous performance and and make your team down. And that's why it's, sometimes it's not, you are tired, it's okay, today I don't play, a little bit breathe. You know, of course, for Erling it's good, but I'm said to start really well. But now I said before, after I said after the game against West Ham, the season start this weekend. Before it was like a pre-season still. We arrive late. There's one game a week. Come to Shield, one game a week. Have time to you know to training, to prepare things, remember things. So now the real season, the recovery is right now. And now we see, we we'll see how we we behave, how the people recover, and their players recover really quicker than the other ones. So yeah, we we'll see. The embargo for 10.30 this evening.